somebody asked me that if durvasa is a god realized sage how come he displayed such tremendous anger you see just like god does leelas leela means hide the originality ram is all knowing but he's asking where is sita in the same way sometimes the saints also they do the leela so durvasa's service to god is to throw tantrums once in a while and put devotees in trouble that is his service and then when god steps in to protect the devotee the glory of the devotee manifests and god's bhakt vatsalta his protection upon the devotees is highlighted the durvasa serves god in such an astonishing way now in this surya vansh came king sagar etc the episode of ganga descending however we will jump that and come to surya vanshi king dasharath Dashrath the son of Aj who was the son of Raghu who was the son of Dilip all Suryavanshi he was now ruling on the throne of Ayodhya the Raghukul pataka flag was fluttering on the palace under the reign of Dashrath great prosperity prevailed in the kingdom the avadwasis were blessed to be under such a righteous king who was facilitating to them the opportunity to perfect the human life dashrath had three queens kaushalya kaikai and sumitra but he did not have a child and he felt no need to have a child either guru of the ragukul was vasisht the guru ma arundhati once asked vasisht have you thought who is going to take over as king after dashrath he doesn't have any child Vasish said I have pondered about it myself. Arundhati said can you not help him have a child through vedic sacrifices? Vasish said I can. The problem is that he doesn't want a child. Arundhati said what if I create in him the desire for a child? Vasish said so be it. Arundhati went to the palace the queen's chambers with her grandchild and now when guru ma is there the queens were sitting around with reverence when dashrath returned from his court room the moment dashrath made entry he saw that guru ma is there he bowed down to offer respects in the meantime arundhati she pinched her grandchild and that child started crying ba when dashrath took his head up he said why is guru putra crying arundhati very intelligently said he is crying that vasisht is guru of dashrath whom will i be guru of dashrath doesn't have any children Now Dashrath realized the deficiency in his kingdom. So he then went to Guru Vasisht and said, "Guru Dev, how can you help me have a child?" Vasisht said, "You know, I did not want to be 
in this priest profession however bhagavan promised me he said i am going to come in this raghukul you will be most blessed to be the kul guru of this dynasty so vasish said we need to have a yagya there was one brahman in the whole bhumandal shringi rishi he was called shringi rishi hi vasishth bulava putra kaam shubh yagya karava na shringi performed the yagya at the end when the yagya was complete the bell rang indicating that everything was perfectly done and agni dev himself he manifested from the kund with the yagya prasad and gave it to dashrath and said distribute it to your queens as you wish dashrath took half and gave it to kaushalya from what remained he took half and he gave it to kekai now he knew that kekai had a complaining cribbing nature he said just to pacify to mollify her he took the remaining and he divided it into two and gave it to kaushalya and kekai and you said you offer it to sumitra the two of them gave the two portions to sumitra who felt gratified and she said i am indebted to both of you if i have children i give my word they will serve your children now the time started flying by the avadvasis were already eager to see the forthcoming children of dashrath the excitement started building up until the chaitra mas the blessed month arrived now the mahatmas came to know that god is going to take avatar in this ragukul they started coming from their hermitages and residing by the banks of the river saryu that flowed by so there was a swelling of mahatmas then saryu also started overflowing ahalad somebody asked this river that what is wrong how come you are flooding in chaitramas saryu said i am not flooding i am so happy i am ahaladit it is my bliss which is resulting in the increase of volume one by one the days started going by until the navami tithi arrived the ninth day na navami tithi the surya devata he rose in the morning and started moving upwards in the sky the celestial gods had also come to see that spectacle and brahma ji said no it should not be announced that god has come you see god hides himself only the adhikari comes to know so you need to go the devatas departed from there surya is extremely delighted that in my dynasty bhagwan is going to take avatar so he is thrilled and moving ahead now as the madhyan was approaching a cool breeze started blowing all of a sudden the agni kunds they became prajwalit the brahmans who do the sandhya vandan in that madhyan midday time they had half submerged themselves in the river and holding their sacred thread they had started saying the gayatri and as the surya reached the madhyan all of a sudden the good news came kaushalya's womb became empty and bhagwan did not manifest in a little child form 
he manifested in his chaturbhuj swarup bhay prakat kripala deen dayala kaushalya hitkari har shut matari muni manhari bhut kupan chaari लो जन अभिरामा धनु धन श्यामा ज आयुषाई भूषण वन माला नयन विचारा शोभा सिंधु खरा सो भगवान गिव दर्शन इन दैट फॉर्म कौशल्या श्री साहिब and she said what is this maharaj you have come in this form bhagwan said i had blessed you in the last life that i will come as your child so kaushalya said that you had to come as my child you have come as my father how will i think of you as my child please hide this form bhagwan said you know i wanted you to know who i am so that there is no confusion mata puni boli so mati doli tatvutat yah rupa ti de shishu lila ati priya shila yah sukh param nirupa suni vachan sujana rodan thana me balak sud rupa yah charit joga vahi hari pad pavahi sen parai bhav ku that four armed bhagwan he transformed into a little child and that was the baby ram boliye bal ram ki jai the news was conveyed to dashrath and dashrath came to know that kaushalya has had a child Dashrath's joy was uncontrollable. He came running to Kaushalya, "Please give me darshan." So at this point, now Kaushalya revealed the little Balaram, and Dashrath was thrilled. This news went to the Ayodhya Vasis, and all the Ayodhya Vasis started celebrating. Surya Devata who had gone up to the highest meridian was not moving from there Chandrama became worried if you stay there then how will i have darshan i also want to see him Surya said wait the Chandrama said enough is enough now it's time for you to set so that i can have darshan of the lord The Surya said, "Look, as a compensation for this delay, when next time the Lord descends, He will come in your vanch. He will come in the Chandra vanch." Chandrama said, "That is in the age of Dwapar. Right now, we are in the age of Treta." So Surya said, "All right, Lord Ram will add your name to his name." Now as the celebrations proceeded the news came that Kaikai has also had a child the joy of the people increased manifold and the news arrived that Sumitra has had two children so people were literally bursting with bliss
doesn't care for your wealth for your intelligence for your status god doesn't care for your education for your austerity for your mantras god doesn't care for your success for your physical strength for your rituals for your ability god is hungry god is hungry for love for love jai radhe krishna radhe jai radhe krishna radhe get closer to god get closer to god krishna ki krishna na jaye ghure jaye radhe Hey, Grant.